Welcome to the mini lesson on the four components or parts of blood. That's right, there are four important components to blood. First up are the red blood cells. Red blood cells are red, and they look a little bit like a donut with a hole that doesn't go all the way through. Next up, white blood cells. White blood cells are actually much bigger than red blood cells. They're also very important. Next up are platelets. Platelets are funny little things that are kind of flat, so they're called platelets. And last up is plasma. Now plasma basically is mostly water, and it's just, it's a little bit yellowish, and it carries all the other parts of the blood. Red blood cells, their most important job is to carry oxygen. When blood travels to the lungs and picks up oxygen, it's the red blood cells that carry it. White blood cells White blood cells help your body to fight disease. If a white blood cell discovers something like a bacteria or a virus in your bloodstream, it eats it. Another word for this is it consumes it or it engulfs it. The white blood cell basically scarfs up bacteria and viruses and gets rid of them and destroys them. Now, platelets, platelets have a very important job. Let's see here. This is going to be a blood vessel. Let's say this is a capillary. Here are some platelets in the blood. Now, if the platelets detect that there's a cut in your blood vessel, if you get a cut, what the platelets do is they stick to the edge of the cut, and then platelets stick to each other. More platelets come along, and they stick to the other platelets. And when platelets dry up, they become something you're probably very familiar with, a scab. That's right, a scab is just a plug made of dried platelets. There you go. That's the job of platelets. Now, these four components of blood, when they're all mixed together, look red. But if you could take this test tube of blood and separate the four components of blood so that we could see how they're distributed, well, almost half of the blood would be red blood cells. They're very important, and there are a lot of them. Then a little more than half the blood would be plasma. That's the yellowish liquidy part that carries everything. And the white blood cells and platelets make up a small, much smaller part of your blood. They're still very important, but there just aren't as many of them. And those are the four components of blood. Plasma, white blood cells, platelets, and red blood cells. And this has been the mini lesson on the four components of blood.